Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia Lee. I'm an indie author and a full-time freelance editor, and today I am back with another tips video. So this one is coming to you due to a question I received on Instagram. If you're not already following me, I am at Natalia A. Lee, or you can follow my publishing house slash editing company slash design company, and that is at Enchanted Ink Publishing. So I often post, you know, little questions on Instagram so that you guys can write in and let me know what you're having trouble with or if you need tips on anything. And one of the questions I recently received was how do you write numbers? And I wish I had the name of the person who asked this. I'm so sorry, I lost it in my stories and I don't know if there's a way to find the answers again. So yes, how do you write numbers in your book? Do you spell them out? Do you use numerals? What are the rules? When do you use numerals versus when do you spell it out? So there's a lot of detail when it comes to this, just like anything else when you're writing. You know, it's really going to depend on the style guide that you're using. I use the Chicago Manual of Style, so that is what I base all of my rules off of, the consistency that I ensure within my client's work, etc. So that is where this is coming from. And of course, we're talking about writing fiction. We're not talking about writing, you know, for a science-based project or anything like that. So if you're using a different style guide or if you're writing for school, it might be different. I am talking about writing books, writing fiction. So with that being said, today I have six tips for you on how to properly and accurately write numbers within your book. All right, let's get started. All right, tip number one is going to be your most basic. If you can remember any tip in this video, this is going to be the one you want to remember, and that is numbers zero through 100 are spelled out. Now there is an alternative rule that would be numbers zero through nine are spelled out, but for my clients, I always stick by the rule that numbers zero through 100 are spelled out. That's a really simple one to remember. Write it down if you need to, because this is going to be super helpful when you're writing your book, zero through 100, you're gonna spell them out. All right, rule number two is going to play off of rule number one, and that is when we are working with larger numbers, such as hundreds, thousands, and hundred thousands, we are going to spell it out when you have a number zero through 100, followed by 100,000 or 100,000. So let's say you're saying 5,000, that is the word five followed by thousand, that's going to be spelled out. 200,000, you're going to spell it out. However, if this is a number like 1,215, that's going to be a numeral. So numbers one through 100, followed by 100,000 or 100,000 are going to be spelled out. All right, tip number three has to do with where your number shows up in a sentence. So. If your number, regardless of what that number is, even if it's, you know, 5,310, which would typically be a numeral, if that shows up as the very first word in a sentence, it needs to be spelled out. And in cases like this, it's going to look very awkward to your reader and it's going to be awkward for them to word out, you know, 5,321 at the beginning of a sentence. So my recommendation is if you have a number at the beginning of a sentence, especially one that is awkwardly, you know, being written, it's awkward for your readers to try to figure out what you're talking about, it is always better to reword that sentence, move your words around so that the number is not the very first thing at the beginning of the sentence. Because just remember, if the number is the very first word, it's the first thing that shows up in the sentence, it has to be spelled out. All right, tip number four, we're going back to an easy one, and that is if your number is very specific and it's over 100, it's going to be numerals. So I already mentioned that if you have a number zero through 100 followed by 100,000 or 100,000, it's going to be spelled out. But if you have a number, even if it's like 101, that's going to be numerals. 150, that's going to be numerals. 200 would be written out because it's a two followed by 100. If it's 5,312, it's going to be numerals. So numbers zero through 100 are spelled out. Numbers zero through 100 followed by 100,000 or 100,000 are going to be spelled out. 
but if it is a number greater than 100 and it is not followed by 100,000 or 100,000, then you're going to use numerals for that. All right, tip number five is for percentages because actually a lot of people end up using percentages in their novels. I have worked with many clients who have percentages in their novels even though it has nothing to do with science or math. So if you are working with a percentage, except when it's at the beginning of a sentence, you're going to express a percentage in a numeral followed by the word percent. So it would be, you know, 10%, you would have 10 as a numeral followed by the word percent, regardless of, you know, if it's 1% or 99%, that is always going to show up as a numeral unless it's at the beginning of a sentence because I already mentioned that any number appearing at the beginning of a sentence has to be spelled out. So again, if you have a percentage, you know, at the very beginning of a sentence, 50% of students at Northwood High, you know, take AP classes or whatever your sentence is, it has to be spelled out. So in many cases, you're going to want to reword that sentence so that the numeral or the number, the percentage, whatever it is, is not showing up at the very beginning of your sentence because it's going to look awkward and it's definitely going to feel awkward to your readers to have to figure out. But in general, percentages are expressed in a numeral followed by the word percent. All right, tip number six is going to be our final tip for the day and that has to do with years. So years are going to be expressed in numerals except at the beginning of a sentence. And again, if a year is showing up at the beginning of a sentence and it has to be spelled out, I would highly recommend that you reword that sentence. So here's an example for you. 2020 has been a crazy year. In that sentence, 2020 literally needs to be spelled out. So it's going to look a little bit awkward to your readers. You might simply reword it as the year 2020 has been crazy. And in that sentence, 2020 would appear as a numeral. So years appear as numerals unless you got it at the beginning of a sentence because numbers at the beginning of a sentence have to be spelled out. So you can see based on these rules that they build off of one another. You know, whether you're working with a regular number, a percentage, or a year, if it appears at the beginning of a sentence, it has to be spelled out. So in many of these situations, you're going to want to reword the sentence entirely to avoid the awkward phrasing and the awkward reading experience that's going to happen if you are spelling out large numbers at the beginning of your sentences. So there you guys have it. This was a really quick tips video on how to write numbers in your book. If you have any requests for editing content, you know, writing tips, stuff like this, please let me know in the comments down below. I have a large running list of video topics that I want to film and I can always add yours to it, especially if it's something simple like this and you just need a few little tips on how do I do this thing? How do I do this specific thing? And I would be very happy to help you. So if you are somebody who is looking for copy editing, a manuscript critique, proofreading, or book design, make sure to come check us out at enchantedingpublishing.com. We also offer blurb edits, synopsis edits, query letter edits, almost anything you need for your book, we can offer it. Unless you need a book cover design, in which case we don't offer that, but we do the interior book design. So come check us out. Again, that is enchantedinkpublishing.com and we would love to work with you. All right, thank you guys so much for being here. Again, leave any questions down below, any requests for content. I would be happy to add that to my list and I will see you in my next video. Bye.